Merciful God, your Son was lifted up on the cross to draw all people to himself. Grant that we, who were born out of his wounded side, may at all times find mercy in him, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. When they came to the place that is called the Skull, they crucified Jesus there with the criminals, one on his right side and one on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And they cast lots to divide his clothing. deriding him and saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other rebu rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed have been condemned justly, for we are getting what we deserve for our deeds, but this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied, Truly, I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, here is your son. Then he said to the disciple, Here is your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her into his own home. Whatever we need to learn about ourselves, we learn at the cross. We learn it from all the people who are near Jesus when he dies. We learn that we don't know what we're doing, even when we claim to. We learn that we will do anything and everything to save ourselves, our security, our stuff, our livelihoods, our lifestyles, our lives. And we fully expect others including Jesus, to behave in the same way. 
we learn that we have a need to be remembered, to have our names spoken by somebody, someplace, to know that somebody will acknowledge our existence and maybe even come to our rescue as times grow dark. We learn that our worst fear, worse than anything else, is to be forsaken, abandoned, alone. Whatever we can learn about ourselves, we learn at the cross. And whatever we need to learn about God, we learn at the cross. I need to phrase that in another way because it's important. There is nothing we can know about God that we can't learn at the cross. It is lesson number one. It is our starting point. We learn about God first from Jesus, our Lord, who hangs there, King of the Jews. We learn that he is here on the cross, not despite being our Lord and King, but because of it. We learn that he is God's son, God himself. And this is God's way of being. The cross is not a tragic accident. It's not some sordid chapter that God would rather forget. It's not a brief side trip down from some lofty heavenly golden throne. It is God's main way of being God. We learn that God's main way of being God is offering forgiveness. Not a false forgiveness that glosses over and pretends that the wrong we did never happened, but true forgiveness, which absorbs the wrong into himself, into his own body. We learn that God's main way of being God is coming down to us, into the midst of our mess, rather than asking us to climb up into God's perfect glory. We learn that God's main way of being God is to connect us, connect us to God, and to connect us to one another, just as a mother to a son. We learn that what is happening here on the cross, what God finishes here on the cross, gets finished gets accomplished, whether or not we learn or achieve or accomplish or do anything. We learn that saving is God's work, not ours. We learn that it is human nature to hoard and grasp and cling on to our spirit our life, our breath. But it is in God's nature to let go, to give up God's life, God's spirit, to unclench tortured muscles, to empty out the troubled lungs, to expire, to die. Whatever we need to know about God, we can learn at the cross. There is nothing that we can know about God that we can't learn at the cross. Forgiving, descending, saving, uniting, giving up life is not a detour. It is God's main way of being God. And we need that reminder. We need the cross most when we are feeling the most human, the most fragile, the most exposed, the most frightened, the most forsaken, the most forgotten. We need the cross most when we are most locked up in the prison of our own hearts and minds. When we are the most captive 
to our own past stories, the guilt we carry from old misdeeds, the grudges we carry towards others. We need the cross most when we feel quarantined from others and quarantined from God, locked away, unable to get out on our own. We need the cross most when we realize the truth that that's all the time. What we need to know about ourselves is that we're stuck here. We can't get out on our own. What we need to know about God is that today on the cross, God finishes being and completes being who God always has been and doing what God has always done. God finds a way in, a way to be with us here in the darkness, to remember us, to speak our names. What we need to know about the cross is today, it's the separation, the isolation, the loneliness, the forsakenness that dies. Thanks be to God.
At three o'clock, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? After this, when Jesus knew that all was finished, he said, in order to fulfill the prophecy, I am thirsty. A jar full of sour wine was standing there. So they put a sponge on the wine and a branch of hyssop and held it to his mouth. When Jesus had received the wine, he said, It is finished. Then he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. It was now about noon, and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon, while the sun's light failed and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Then Jesus, crying out with a loud voice, said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Having said this, he breathed his last. It is finished. You are redeemed, bought back from sin, death, and Satan. Go, my redeemed siblings. Go in joy and peace. Go and let your light shine before others, before all, as this light burns in our homes. Go in the name of the Lord who died to give you life. Go in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Amen.